Ah, that lot is an absolute riot. Honestly, I can't remember the last time I laughed so hard. So, you've been eavesdropping, I hope. What have I missed? Yes, Master Child. They spoke of the Qixing taking the Golden House. Well, well, well. Ningguang and her ch I apologize, but I warned you, didn't I? As the old Leo is saying goes. Well, as it stands, we've hired helpers. Ooh, finally! Well, Traveler, have you gained odd? <laughs> Which is it? Uh, the questions that such to treat you to a meal. Oh, ah, uh, yes, don't worry. I will remember to bring the Mora this time. Tonight, I shall take you both to an old hole in the wall, praised throughout Lyra. Hole in the wall? As in a cool restaurant? <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Ah, you're here. There's no need to order. I've already done so. Third round knockout is not for lightweights, like those tap. I ordered some wine fermented sweet rice balls for you, if that. If it is to your liking, dear customers, I shall continue the tale of Lady Ningguan's jade. Hey, there's even a storyteller here! Great atmosphere! Besides fine wine, the excellent ambiance is the reason why this place is so well loved. But when I say ambiance, I refer to a different sort from the one the Tevat Travel Guide uses to judge other establishments. As you all know, high above the land, what does it mean to have all- Imagine! Behold! The glory- They say- that when Lady Ningguang ponders important affairs, she retreats to her jade chamber with none but her three closest confidants in tow. Why brings she these trusted three to sift through sources, dig through documents, looking for information? Piece by piece, facts and figures paint a picture on the walls of the chamber. But well before the wall is filled, Lady Ningguang's mind is made up. Having made her call, she has every last document shredded, and whoosh, she scatters the shavings out her window. Ah, look at them, how they billow in the wind like a sudden swirling blizzard. As the fragments fall, Traces of text flicker before the eyes of the merchants of Liyue, like ink stains in white snow. The saying goes, the rarest treasures in the land are the words brought by the paper snow. For the words of the Tianquan have the power to move mountains, and all throughout the land know it. These are but scraps of paper, and yet they guide Lady Ningguang's hand, so merely grasping one or two. Tiantuan Ningguang, Liyue locals to- Huh, Paimon wonders what sort of person she is. At last I have found you. You who returned from Juayun Karst. Who's there? Wait, I am not with the Millilith, nor am I here to claim your bounty. However, I am an emissary of the Liyue Chising. My name is Ganyu, secretary at the Yuahai Pavilion, and I have come specifically... Well, in concrete terms, I am the corporate secretary for the Chising. At the moment, I am serving as Lady Ningguang's special emissary. Ningguang sent you? We were literally just talking about her! My apologies, you who have returned from Jiayun Karst. I am duty-bound and cannot extend my courtesy to you in full, but I have with me a letter from Lady Ningguang. She extends a formal invitation to you in her capacity as Tianquan. 
she invites you to her palace in the sky. An official invitation? Lady Ningguang said this. Invite her to come here. I wish to meet her. At the Jade Chamber, together we shall snip every one of these entwining dark threads. And with that, the emissary who called herself Ganyu just disappeared. But we've received an invitation. We'll be meeting people that have way more money than Paimon could ever count. We should be on our best man. <laughs> An invitation to visit the Jade Chamber is a rare honor indeed. You'd best be on your- Don't worry, we won't forget! Dihua Marsh, we'll see you there! Ain't another handsome sum today? Hold on, come, come and see these rare hotels curio to our- <laughs> Look up there! That's the Jade Chamber! Hmm... Uh, uh, this is bad. Uh, well, since we want to go to the Jade... Let's look around! Succeed. Hey, look! Since this is the right place, it must have something to do with the Jade Chamber. Yes, this must be the way. Stand clear. If it was a secret, 
Ganyu wouldn't have let us try to find it ourselves, right? All right, let's follow your plan. Oh, hang on a moment. Looks like we've gotten close to the Guizhong Ballista. Hmm. Uh, why don't we shoot you up to the Jade Chamber using the Ballista? Halt! Who trespasses on these hallowed grounds? Exactly. What are you talking about? We're invited guests. What makes you think you can treat us like this? No. Wait. Maybe this was Ningwan's plan all along. She pretended to invite us to the Jade Chamber, but set up a megalith ambush here to arrest us. Ugh. Now Paimon's mad. You, over there. This is a trick. How shameless! What? We're just on guard duty. What do you mean, shameless? What nonsense! Seize these suspicious intruders at once! Well, here they come! Line them up and knock! Two arms! Take the target alive! Power core! Motion to compel! Attack! Who goes there? Take the target alive! What's all this about? Lady Kuching. Who are you calling strange? Hmm? You want to go to the Jade Chamber? We're invited guests here to look for the Lira Chising. Who are you? Uh, <laughs> well, as it happens, I am one of the Liyue Chising. Oh! I'm Kuching, the Yuhung of the Chising. I know of you, Traveler. Wow. The Guizhong Ballista... These Millilith are just here to guard the scene. Not to arrest anyone. So, this was all a misunderstanding. Anyway, for a mortal to be able to repair an Adepti mechanism is quite the myth. Uh, that was... Eh? Oh, right. So, Lady Yuhong, might you have any idea why Lady Tianquan invited us to go to the Jade... Just call me Kuching. I'd say that Ningguang's... We're not taking so... When you say protect... Huh? You are mortals and thus under their protection. Naturally, they would also regard Ningguang's locking them... I'll say it like it is. Well, you've got a point there. Still, this is the first time Paimon's seen a person from Liyue who doesn't respect the gods or the Adepti. <laughs> Should I respect the... Forget it. Either way... Rex Lapis's de- How surprisingly civilized of them. Well, for Ningguang, the time of the ade- <sighs> <sighs> I'll stop here. You should both be off to the Jade Chamber. The cream of Lee was- Favor? But, but, wait, that's right. 
All right, all right. You can decide on your greeting gift yourself. You didn't actually have to c Well then. May we meet again, traveler. Well, that Yuhung may not respect the gods, but Paimon thinks she's a pretty cool person. So, what should we... G oh, right! Paimon has a feeling that it would be perfect for a super rich person like Ningguang. Why don't we go with that for a gift? Nope! But Paimon's sure that we just need to make it with some boom shakalak. Let's go gather ingredients! Time waits for no one.